Yeah, yeah, man. It's the homie hood legend back with another vlog. Here recapping that battle that just happened between New Jersey twerk and bad news. Fire battle. Fire battle between both of these niggas. I'm going to tell you like, and it's like, I feel like the URL be putting too much pressure on New Jersey twerk because this nigga in this setting had a crazy performance and just not even two weeks ago. This they, they were talking about he, this is one of the one of the worst performances of his life. And now what I'm watching now today is a good performance by this nigga. This nigga had a great performance versus bad news from the first round to the third round. Bad news had a great performance from the first round to the third round. So is it that the URL actually be putting too much pressure on New Jersey twerk trying to make him the forefront? Is the money not right? What's going on over there? Which I know the Norm situation kind of was playing in his mind the whole time of him battling, but he still had to battle. So that kind of was the situation that actually played it that played into his favor. But like damn, like with this nigga coming out doing this shit right here now and me seeing what the fuck he's doing and the showing that he's having, I'm feeling like this that the URL be having too much pressure on this nigga. Because like when this nigga was on the Guardians of the Coach in the first round like like well well bad news starts the battle off. You know what I'm saying? Bad news starts it off. And Bad News has a pretty good, solid, solid performance in that first round. Pretty solid performance for Bad News. You know what I'm saying? He had a lot of angles coming at New Jersey Twerk. And then New Jersey Twerk goes. And it's like, niggas is like going like crazy for this nigga. Like, I admit, it was a little gas in there. But what this nigga was saying was crazy. What this nigga was saying was crazy. In the first round was crazy. Twerk shit was crazy. Phenomenal. Bad News had a good performance, but it wasn't enough to keep up with New Jersey Twerk. I ain't even gonna hold you. So the second round comes. Bad News in the second. Bad News in the second. His his second, Bad News second was kind of like, kind of fire. You know what I'm saying? Bad News second was fire. So New Jersey Twerk goes from the, like, his his shit in the second was, was kind of trans, was kind of keeping up steam from the first. But it wasn't enough for that second for me to give twerk. He had a lot of moments in that second. But I actually gave that second to bad news because of what bad news did in that second. But New Jersey twerk still had bombs in that fucking second. You know what I'm saying? From the first to the second, New Jersey twerk put, put in his work. And they say this nigga prepared like the, the day of the event, the day before and the day of. But that shit was bombs. So it's 1-1 one, one going into the third. You can debate that second, but I gave that second the bad news. You can easily debate that second, but I gave it the bad news. Now going into the third. Bad news has an angle going against New Jersey twerk about his mom being a preacher and him taking bags and all that shit like that right there. And he had to take a purse and all that shit like that right there. That was crazy. That was a crazy angle. And this nigga also said a lot. Bad news had a line in there that said, Kung Lao, cut the cap. Like... That nigga bad news was wigging up from all three rounds. I felt like his shit was like, like basically kind of slept on, but this nigga was wigging all three fucking rounds. So then New Jersey twerk goes in the third round. This was kind of maybe his lightest round of the battle, but he still had bombs in that bitch. Bad news flips and shit like that. The nigga said, uh, bad news. Like, that nigga had a bad news flip I never fucking heard. New Jersey twerk had a bad news flip. That was crazy. That was crazy. Like, like that shit was crazy. That's why I say the URL had too much pressure on this nigga because I look at him in this battle. He seems comfortable. He seems himself. I know the battle was in Jersey. He had a lot of his people behind him. He had, you know what I'm saying? This was the night that he joined NWX. Like, you know what I'm saying? But still, like, there's no reason for him to have that much pressure on him and or out of town. But make a long story short, I actually edged this battle too bad news, you know what I'm saying, I know New Jersey twerk did good, he had bombs, this nigga came out from the first, the second, and the third with crazy material, you know what I'm saying, you had a little gas that was in the back, but, but for the most part, you know what I'm saying, I gave the, I edged the battle, too bad news, 2-1, bad news, edge, edge bad news in that, in the, in the third, you know what I'm saying, you can get a second, the first and the second to New Jersey twerk, if you say that, it's debatable, I'm not mad, you know what I'm saying, but for the most part, I edged it to bad news. Great battle from both of y'all niggas. Keep up the good work. But anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. But anyway, it's the homie hood legend. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all your latest news, updates, content, in the world of battle rap. I'm out. Crazy battle. Crazy battle. Good job.